Hello, everybody. This is C.J. Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana, across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. Do come check us out if you get here and you can't find anything interesting to do. Get in touch with me. I will figure out something. I'm great uh, at uh, figuring out how to have lots of fun. Okay. Uh, I know this town. Uh, it's up and down. It's awesome. So I know it like the back of my hand. Let me do. Hey, what's that? Anyway, um, so uh, <laughs> this is American Horror Story, um, and it's uh, American Horror Story Delicate, uh, episode five. I thought that we were done with it for the first part, but there was one more episode I hadn't watched. And so, yeah, I did watch it a couple of days ago, and I'm doing the video. So this is Miss Preacher. Uh, it seems like maybe she's a good character. We thought maybe she was going to be involved with the cult or something. Uh, and the, this episode opens with her as a young woman in 1987 in Manhattan, and they have come for her baby that she's about to give birth to. And Dennis O'Hare, the doctor uh, uh, for the lead character, Anna uh, Alcott, uh, played uh, by M Emma Roberts, uh, and her husband there, you know, he, he's there, he's there, um, OBGYN. So anyway, um, yeah, and then there's cultish figures lurking all the way around. The big twist is what's going on now. We know this is uh, some sort of satanic, witchy, black magic, dark, satanic cult. Uh, and there are conspiracies uh, flying about. And uh, that was Miss Preacher, who's been trying to reach out to let, let let them know what's going on. And then the woman she was speaking with was the uh, mother-in-law. And she has decided to file a lawsuit against her husband because he has been subjecting her throughout their marriage. She's getting re uh, recurring memories, uh, resurfacing memories, I should say, of being involved in satanic rituals all the way through it against her own will. And and the son uh, is is like I, I can't get involved with this, and she's like I, I I know that you know he's like he's like no he wasn't perfect you guys are divorced or whatever but but yeah so is he involved and he's trying to dissuade her from going forward with the lawsuit or uh, is he just a son that doesn't know what the hell's going on and does she know that she has made a bargain for success and the bargain is. Uh, this child, uh, and is that why there was a woman, a mysterious figure who looked a lot like the first wife of her husband, showed up as a nurse, performed an ultrasound, and she apparently had a miscarriage, and they're saying, well, now you had a miscarriage. Yes, you did, but uh, surprise, you're really still pregnant because it was a uh, it was a vanishing twin syndrome. See, there was, she was, uh, rendered unconscious, uh, in, and, uh, there's some sort of stalkerish figure and, um, uh, at the fir first couple of episodes. And so they went to a retreat, uh, of a friend of her husband's and there's, you know, these satanic figures that are all the way through, uh, these, you know, horns and everything like that. So if you know anything about that kind of stuff, you know, the horn, the goat and everything like that, that's not really satanic lore that goes all the way back to Greek mythology uh, the boy Pan, who was a boy goat, uh, sometimes depicted as a uh, a mature uh, uh, half man, half goat. Uh, Greek mythology is full of like half animal, half creature people or whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah. And so Pan was, uh, you know, uh, very. Uh, Pranksterish and playful in nature and everything like that. He was not an ill-intended. Uh, he didn't have an ill, a bad nature. He was just very, uh, you know, playful. <laughs> Loved the pranks and stuff like that. It's kind of like a little kids. Uh, they jump around and and try to play and then give the old folks like a, a damn heart attack. <laughs> they don't know. They're not trying to be mean. They're just trying to play. You know. <laughs> Or whatever you know, so he had that. He, he, you know, that was Pan's character, and even as he uh, matured into a uh, sexual uh, demigod or creature or something like that, you know, figure in Greek mythology, uh, it was still he was still playful and uh, and all that. So you know, uh, but um, 
but he it, it, he was never like a a demon that whole like goat figure kind of thing that that kind of got folded into uh christianity uh later <laughs> and in some cases uh you know uh some other types of uh you know uh judeo uh kind of uh mythos you know but anyway we're going to get some more goat figures here in a second and then i'm going to round this video up wrap it up because i don't really just want to like spoil it but uh i cut out uh, we skipped ahead to throughout some of the gross stuff but here we go See, she ate a dead animal at the end of the last season or whatever, at the end of the last episode. And then she's seeing all this kind of stuff, and she's freaking out a little bit, but she's not really telling anybody. Hey, there is like some, you know, she, she's not telling anybody that she's experiencing these cultish happenings, these phenomenons. She's waking up, and she's having bits and pieces of it, is she aware that they're after uh, this pregnancy, even if it is scaring her and she's maybe going to regret it later and everything like that? But yeah, I mean, she's like at the same uh, blemish on her face, uh, you know, going into the uh, second trimester. That's a long time for one pimple. Anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, so what's up is that... Um, the person who was uh, just won an award, her big rival for the Oscar, uh, died. And, uh, yeah. So, um, so we don't know who's, we don't know all these characters. We know kind of what's going on, but now we don't know who else knows what's going on. Because there's some weird, like, like, like it might explain if she's aware of what's going on from her end of it, that the, Emma Roberts' character, that might explain why she would walk out of a bathroom at an awards show and uh, leave a person basically passed out bleeding to death to go accept an award and not tell anybody until, hey, you know, I don't know. It's It's got me guessing. Now, this show is based on uh, the book Delicate Condition, a new, a new book. I'm not going to read it until after we've gotten to the end of uh, this season and this would take a break after this episode uh, until they finish the uh, contracts and stuff that, that, that are, that's being negotiated with the, with the actor strikes and the, and the everything like that. And then, so when we get that, then, then I'll maybe look at the book, but the last couple of episodes of this, they're having more of a traditional feel for me that uh, American horror story is known for that uh, was not always the case in uh, some of the earlier episodes of this. I did, I did, it was great. It was interesting and, and I liked it. And it was different, but, I, but this show does have a style and a look and a feel that I appreciate and I like in those flashbacks and some of the, you know, WTF stuff that's going on. Uh, it's kind of cool, you know, and Dennis O'Hare, and I'm starting to see some familiar faces. Dennis O'Hare, we got uh, Emma Roberts, who's been from the beginning, uh, and then we've also got Billy Lord and Leslie Grossman. And so, you know, um, whoever's going to be returning throughout, I don't know. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm going to stop the video. I want to say to everybody, peace, love, and light. Good night. <laughs>